Hey, what's up, nerds? Today we're talking about terrible thunder lizards. I mean, dinosaurs, which aren't really lizards, but nobody really cares, right? They're dinosaurs! So, I, I didn't mean really nobody cares about the fact that dinosaurs aren't lizards. I mean, that's cool and all, but... Terrible thunder lizard sounds really fantastic, and that's what the brontosaurus literally means um, in the Greek translation, so I, I absolutely love that name. But on to the list. Top five. Top five songs about death. Coming in at number five in Magic the Gathering, I am going with the Regisaur Alpha. Or is it the Regisaur Alpha? I don't know, one of the two. Whew, this big fella brings a 3-3 dino token with it, which is all well and good but it grants your other dinos haste. That's a pretty terrifying thought for your opponent that every time you play a dino card, he's ready to rumble immediately. And number five in pop culture for me, I'm reaching into the Wayback Machine to Gertie the Dinosaur from a 1914 short animated film. This was the first dinosaur on screen anywhere ever. So while it might not be super well known to modern audiences. Man, being the dino to kick off more than a century of screen monsters gives her a place of honor on this list. Number four in Magic the Gathering is the Temple Altasaur. With its protection feature, this biggin can keep your little dinos cooking and the tougher ones can take several lickings and keep on ticket. Pair it with enraged ready scrappers like ranging raptors and you've got yourself a serious threat indeed. So number four on my pop culture list are the Dinobots. And I'm not talking about this crap from the big overdone Transformers movies. I'm talking about the OG cartoon from the 1980s Dinobots. I couldn't give a fart in the wind about that overdone crap, but my next gen heart will always love these dopey dinos and Grimlock, their slow-witted leader. I mean, they're robots, they're dinosaurs, and they transform. The Dinobots shall remain among us. Yeah! All right, on to number three. Galta, a stampede tyrant from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. I just got two words for this one. All in. I mean, even if she comes from the graveyard, geez, the fun you could have with this. So number three from pop culture for me, I couldn't decide between the T-Rex or the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park, so I just decided on both. The T-Rex, of course, is doing what T-Rexes have always done, being the terrible Lizard King, instilling fear, smashing, and killing. The Velociraptors were relatively unknown critters until the movie's release. We'll just ignore the fact that they were only about two feet tall in the real world, because when these bad boys hunt in packs, I'm hunting for the exit. So number two on my list of magic cards is Itali the Primal Storm. So there's been another Itali card. I'm choosing this one. I don't know, am I saying that name right? Or is it Itali? I don't know. This rendition really brings the pain. One attack and things get interesting too and the game might be over. This elevates Itali beyond the land of the dinos and into consideration for one of the best six drops in the game period. All right. This was a tough one for me. Number two in pop culture. I'm going to call on Littlefoot from The Land Before Time. It wasn't really my movie, but I am a sucker for a good kids movie. This one was really hard on the heartstrings. Not only does Littlefoot lose his mama, but he has to make that grueling journey home to the Great Valley in a dangerous and really horribly unforgiving world. I'll go get some tissues and have an ugly cry so we can get back to the list. It's okay to cry, people cry. Now we're ready for number one, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, because to tell you the truth, I did not study pronunciation of magic cards in college. Gishath, the sun's avatar. This is the one. Each time she attacks, you'll get to draw like maybe three or four cards. Thank you, Trample. Dinos go directly onto the battlefield from those cards you draw, and the other stuff goes on the bottom. But, you know, you just get a big old dino horde, and it's game over, man. There's no better commander to bring the monstrous lizards home. And yes, I know, dinosaurs aren't lizards already. So number one in pop culture, Godzilla. Is Godzilla even a dinosaur? Who cares? There can only be one, and in this case, for me, it's the king of the monsters. 
Godzilla is simply that, king. First appearing in 1954 as a film warning of the dangers of the atomic bomb and its environmental aftermath, Godzilla has been in over 30 movies, it's been in comic books, kids shows, freaking everywhere. Everybody knows Godzilla. King indeed. So that's it, folks. That's my list. Dinosaurs aren't lizards. Maybe they're more like birds. Go read some science blogs. This is about the nerd crypt. And I have a great time talking to you guys. Take care. Have an awesome week. Stay safe. And be good to one another. And all those other things that I could say. Bye, everybody.